Hello, my name is Hussein Kasai. I am the CEO and co-founder at Anfido, and I'm joined here today by my colleague James. We're very excited to demonstrate our products to you. As the world is moving online, more and more businesses need to verify that their customers are who they claim to be. But how can they do that when they no longer see their customers face to face? That's the problem that we at Onfido are here to solve. With just a camera phone and a government's ID, we're able to verify anyone's identity anywhere in the world. This is important because our identity is becoming the key to unlocking access to services and transactions. Since the beginning of the human race, transactions have always played a key role in human life. If we rewind to the beginning of human life, our ancestors used to barter. And that worked because it was secure. But it would only scale to about 150 people. To overcome that limitation, we started to trust in currencies. That helped us trade between villages and nations, but that too was imperfect, because it would depend on where you would be able to physically travel. More recently, we had the web age where transactions moved online and scaled further. You can buy your favorite book online, you can start an eBay business at home, but it too had a limitation. First, there's a security problem, with identity theft and fraud being amongst the highest crimes and the fastest growing crimes. And at the same time, half the world's adult population are excluded from partaking in this new trade, either because they're underbanked or unbanked and therefore not on a credit bureau. We need something new. We have now entered what we call the identity age, where your identity is becoming a currency to access services and transactions, and will increasingly be needed to open a bank account, order prescription drugs from home, for instance, and make payments. And instead of the process taking hours, it takes less than one minute. And this is what that looks like. With any camera device, the customer, if they're signing up for an online bank, for example, needs to take a photo of the front and the back of the government's ID. We have glare detection, blur detection, auto capture, and other factors to maximize pass rates, and it can make up to a 10% difference. And while it's a smooth interface at the front, the hard work is being carried out in the background. Our machine learning models essentially take all the characters, extract them, and then we run against the model to detect whether this is potentially a fraudulent document or not. And the beauty of using machine learning is that over the tens of millions of checks that we've carried out, we're able to detect if it's a sophisticated fraud or not. This is better than alternative options historically, whereby it would be a fully manual solution, hence slow and at, at times error prone, as well as fully automated solutions where pass rates become a challenge. With our machine learning approach, we have a hybrid component where a human would get involved to double check if we suspect a document of being fraudulent or if it's a new template or a new sample of a document, for instance. Now, let's check to see whether the person providing the document is the, person, uh, the owner of the document or not. The first option is a still photo. This is captured and compared against the photo on the government's ID, and a zero to one confidence score returns. So we have our own algorithms, what we call Sherlock, to detect whether this is a photo of a photo, or for example, a photo of a screen, but to be even more secure, there's the option, a second option, to run a liveness test. As you will see, this has a challenger response component, and it is designed to ensure that the person providing the document is, in fact, not only the genuine person, but also um, live and a well. So the, the, there are two parts to the challenge of response. The first is a task, such as tilting your head and, and a range of others, randomized. And the second are three random numbers that are read out. And there's voice recognition in there, so that any accent anywhere in the world is recognized. And then we can say with a higher degree of confidence this person is who they claim to be before the photo is taken and compared to the person's ID. And compared to traditional methods of liveness test, uh, it, it is more robust. Historically, liveness tests have been a, a blinking test or looking at different parts of the screen on, on a mobile phone, for instance. And that can be cheated, given that I could take someone else's face, photo, cut out the eyes of the mask, and essentially be able to cheat the system. What we've essentially proven is that not only is machine learning powered facial recognition better than the human eye at detecting whether a photo on a government ID is the same as the person's face, but secondly, whether the person's government ID is a fraudulent one or not, more than a human eye could. As well as this, 
For compliance, we can take the person's date of birth, name, and address and check it against credit bureaus or watch this to ensure that the person is compliant when they're being onboarded. The focus on the product has been around maximizing the balance and trade-off between speed, pass rates, and fraud accuracy so that the over 1,500 businesses that, that we service are able to onboard more users whilst reducing risk at the same time. We founded the company a little over five and a half years ago, and, and I've invested over $50 million in developing the technology, and we have a world-class team of 150 who have helped. Our purpose is to help bring everyone's legal identities online in a way that they can easily access services and transactions in this digital age. Our booth is just outside if you have any questions, and thank you for listening.